What is up everybody? Welcome back to Alt Knots. I have some yarn from Hobie Yarn today to chit chat about and this is a line of theirs that it's kind of been all over my Instagram feed lately. The giant mega balls of yarn and I know a lot of people that have tried it have loved it so I thought this might be a good staple to have in the yarn dungeon so I had to try some. I got two different colors. Hopefully I love it. Honestly I haven't gotten Hobie Yarn that I don't like. Okay let's just start with this one. There was so much ordered that I have two full packages today. Black and red, those are the colors that I grabbed a couple of to try. And I did have a ton of points on my Hobie site. So if you order from Hobie, make sure that you set up an account because you get points every time you place an order. And then they have an actual site or store within the Hobie yarn store of items that you can get just using those points. So you can't get them any other way but using your points. And here's one of the first ones. I almost dropped it. Oh, I also got cotton yarn. Okay, thank you for reminding me. This is the first thing. Pony black yarn needles or like darning needles. How many are there? There's five of them and it says not nickel plated. So if you have allergies, that's good to know. Long needles for darning work with wool and yarn. I have tried their needles before and I freaking love them. So I was excited to see that this was something that you could choose from. I can't have enough yarn needles. I feel like I'm constantly losing mine and most of the ones that I have are plastic. I just ordered recently some actual metal ones and I found out that I actually really like those a lot better. So these I'm excited to try. Oh, they are very sharp on the end. I'm thinking maybe if I use some wool or like big chunky wool for or towels and mittens, stuff like that, this type of needle would be perfect. Let's get into the first mega ball. Huge. Very soft. Classic acrylic yarn. We heart yarn, mega ball. A lightweight number three, so I must have got the DK weight. I must have been feeling, I don't know, cardigans maybe? Who knows what I was feeling. 400 grams in this one ball, 1,312 yards total per mega ball. I don't know why I was expecting it to be a little more coarse. It is not though, this is really soft. I would easily make a cardigan out of this. Probably what I'm gonna do to be honest. It suggests a four to a five millimeter crochet hook. It is definitely, I would say a five would work pretty well. The color is color 426. So you have to go onto their site for Hobie to find the name of the color because when you get it in person, it only has a number. But this one I know for sure was called black. One, two, three, and four, the typical cardigan that I make for myself, I end up using 500 grams of yarn. So keeping that in mind, this is great to have on hand. Oh my gosh, this is kind of ridiculous though. I like that it's an intense black yarn too, so it's not a gradient, there's no shades of gray or anything. It's a solid black yarn. I do a lot of black ribbing on pretty much all of my pieces. They are bordered with ribbing of some sort in a black yarn. So again, it's gonna be nice to have. I also got a few cakes of their cotton, the rainbow glitter and silver. So it's technically called Christmas red and silver number 86, but I really enjoy this cotton of theirs. It suggests using a 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So for things like my stuffies, I like to use this a lot. I'm not entirely sure what I got this one for. It might just be because I haven't used any of their cotton that has a little bit of a metallic strand in it for stuffy making. That could be, I don't know, I got four of them. Does have the easy start, which is fantastic. I love that about Hobie. Right there, there's a little sticker. You just pull on that and you can see it's starting to pull. That's where you start. You don't have to dig around to find the beginning. No yarn carnage happens. Like this is seriously my favorite. 95% cotton, 5% polyester, 50 grams in each. Wash, don't throw it in the dryer. Obviously, there's a metallic strand in here. Don't throw that in the dryer, just lay it flat to dry. Number one, super fine, is what it's categorized as. And there is the tag once again. So I have a ton of this specific yarn without the glitter. 
I just have it kind of sitting out. I'm actually using it right the second to make my Nightmare Before Christmas Crochet Village and I really, really enjoyed it. Maybe I got it for that actually because there is a Santa Claus and there is also a Jack wearing the Santa Claus outfit. Ooh, okay. I need to look before I start a new project with this if I already had something in mind for it. This should have all of the Mega Balls with the red color. Oh my gosh, okay, this red, super intense, exactly what I'm looking for. Mega Ball Scarlet, that's the name. Scarlet number 423. It's exactly as the name says, very intense type of red. That's what I like to see two, three, and four, yes. And they have a ton of colors. They do a great job of continuing to add colors onto it. Obvious reasons, I feel like people just really enjoy these. Apart from the fact that you get a ton of yarn in here, it's really soft and I'm assuming it's gonna be easy to work with because of how I'm feeling it. I'm gonna work it up here in the second, do like a quick little like, granny square or something. Plus, it's just kind of comical. <laughs> to be sitting in the yarn dungeon. I have to find an area. I don't, it wouldn't even fit in my yarn coffin. One, maybe two would fit in there. I'm thinking now that I did get this for my Nightmare Before Christmas Village because I also have just one of this, which is called Flash It. I'm thinking I got this for like the belt, maybe? This is super metallic, a little bit scratchy, so I wouldn't use it in like clothing or wearables, unless you were gonna do a stitch like over top of it, then you could use it, or for an embellishment or something, but all in one, I don't think that's what it's designed for anyways. Where this one in the cotton, the metallic, you can't even feel that at all. But for my stuffies, it'll be perfect. A number four medium, 50 50 grams suggest a six millimeter crochet hook. Don't throw it in the wash and don't throw it in the dryer. Oh no, take that back. Seven millimeter crochet hook. I did get a few other things with my points. Some scissors, cause you can never have enough scissors. I honestly, I have one pair in the yarn dungeon right now that I know where it's at. The rest of them, I have no idea. I think they had a different, like two different colors, but I didn't have a gold one. I have orange and I had a black one at one time if I find it again. But these ones are really nice. Great for finishing off when you're weaving in the ends. You can just like snip off all of it. I don't think it's super, okay, it is a little bit sharp on the side, so I don't think I would travel with these. But for putting them on like my Notion tray, which I have right back here, just throwing it in here. Oh, there we go, perfect. Okay, actually, what else did I get? Is, is it gonna work in there? Oh, the last thing that I got was a pin. For no other reason than I just thought it was adorable. There are a couple of different colors too in with this exact pin. One of them was totally sold out. So every once in a while, you gotta keep going back. If something is sold out, it might come back or there might be something completely new and different that they have on their site. So you gotta, you gotta keep checking. So I'm not sure if this has an outside pull or if there's you can pull from the middle that seems to be pretty easy okay i'm gonna say it was meant to be pulled from the middle that came out way too easy i mean obviously there was a little bit more that came out than i wanted it to it would kind of be not super enjoyable if i had to pull it from the outside i honestly don't have a yarn bowl big enough to toss this in just messing around with it here trying to find the end it is incredibly soft i 100 percent would use this for wearables grabbed a five millimeter crochet hook that's kind of my go-to i'm gonna do a simple granny square just to test it out see how it feels like it's soft but when you work it up and it's on your skin for a long extended period of time is it going to feel as soft it's incredibly light which is something that i didn't notice right away because it's so freaking big
very soft and you can tell that yes the stitches are super defined it did not get caught on my hook it didn't bother my skin i'm pretty happy with this I still think this would make good yarn for a blanket too. It has a nice bit of drape going on. So this is a win for me. Next, let's see if it works on my knitting machine, which would be fantastic because then I can work out quite a few many projects with just this one mega ball of yarn. This worked really, really well on the knitting machine so that I didn't have a drop stitch, a tuck stitch. Honestly, I didn't pay attention to it half the time. I just was cranking, going, and I had a movie on the side that I was watching, which is really what I want when I'm making my beanies because I've made this pattern so many times. I'm just making it because it's practical, you know? Like I want extra beanies. I'm kind of excited now to work up an entire cardigan on my adding machine. Every single panel that I have, there won't be a tie together like there normally is just one ball pretty much oh my gosh yeah that would go so freaking quick okay so that is on my list next to do I did end up working this one up a little bit the flash it it wasn't super fun to work up and that was just because of the sensory for me I knew that going into it though like I got this specifically for accessories so I'm never gonna wear it just like on my skin directly it wasn't terrible crocheting up with it so in small increments I'm still gonna love it I am gonna keep it as well as this cotton. I've used this cotton before so I didn't even really have to try it. I have an entire wall full of just this line of yarn from Hobie so I knew I was gonna love it. So do I love the Mega Ball from Hobie Yarn? Am I gonna love it? Am I gonna leave it? I 100% love it and I will be ordering more of this in as many different colors as I need. It's gonna become a staple in the yarn dungeon. I loved crocheting with it. It didn't get caught on my crochet hook. It also was fantastic on the knitting machine so I have many many options for the this exact line of yarn. This exact one that I have here, Lightweight DK, 100% acrylic, is on sale right this second. It has a cute little Halloween ghost. So if you also want to try this, there are 40 colors in total to pick from. There is only one that is out of stock right now, but the, it's a green and there are other variation of green that they have. Definitely go to their site, check this out. Any sort of color that you want, they have it here. This is all solid colors, so these are the staples to have. They do have have a hashtag so it is hashtag Hobie Mega Ball. If you end up snagging some and making something with it, make sure you use that hashtag. Whenever I'm on social media, I add the hashtag of the yarn that I have from Hobie to see what other makers have created with it. If you do want to try this yarn or you love their acrylic, but you don't want to commit to this big giant mega ball, they do have a thing right here. It says classic acrylic. Click that button, it'll go right to that line. It's the same exact thing. It's just a smaller scaled down version of it. A 1.8 ounce or 50 grams each. I'm gonna have to go through their site a little bit more today to see where else this ghost is. All right, ghouls, that is it for me today. Thank you for hanging out with me, checking out these mega ball from Hobie Yarn. If you do like these types of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, join the Ghoul Squad. Otherwise, that is it for today. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video.